Best of five on the board. Hogan mode versus Sir, who's moving on to the next round. Well, that was a fun little pre-show. I enjoyed myself getting to shout a little bit about Scrub Killer's return, CJ, to the I mean, LCX. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on in this region? Scrub Killer's back. He's fighting for a top eight spot. This is... This is borderline ridiculous right now, but what a series to kick off the Saturday, Stumpy, and it's good to be back hanging out with my best friend for the day. Oh, that's, that's, that's very nice. I enjoyed that. It was nice to see you over in San Diego. The other boys let us down, unfortunately. They weren't coming along yeah, for the ride. Just, just, just get on the plane. Like, it's not <laughs> like, that what are hard. To send you home? Come on. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, I don't know why. It's their fault, really. It's their fault. Uh, just just, just so everyone on the red nose. Yes, it is their fault. Um, <laughs> look... I, as much as we've been talking about Hogan mode, they have done a brilliant job so far through this bracket. We were seeing them a little bit earlier um, on the Friday show on the Liquid Stream release, and we were thinking, okay, a little bit of a mean team. Maybe they'll get like a game or two versus Oxygen, but they're mm. just a better team. And then they 3 0 them. And yes, they well, lose versus Moist, but that was yeah. a fantastic game five in the end. And now they find themselves winning against Williams Result. They have got a ridiculously good track record so far in this event. And they have a ridiculously bad track record right here in this series because they've given up the first goal. This always happens. We talk about one team and then just go straight down the other end. It's going to be sad. Hibbs opens it up, but I'm with you. I'm with mm -hmm. you on these boys. The Hogan mode, it wasn't just a 3-0 against Oxygen either, Stumpy. We're talking a 5-0 in the final game, number three as well. So, I mean, those guys came out to play. But today is a different day altogether. Hibbs has gone bang, bang. Two goals, one minute. And I'll tell you what, Hibbs has been a phenomenal player for me, at least. In the last month or so, we've had the Gamers Without Borders event that's been going on. They have locked in their spot to be going to Gamers 8 over in August. Hibbs has been a player at the absolute forefront of Sir. He's been picked up relatively recently to join the forever duo, it seems, of Mike Boy and Thor. I feel like you can't say one without saying the other at this point. And Hibbs has been the perfect third man for them. He's been showing off a lot in this 2v2, so we're seeing in the Crew Battles format. But in the threes, and you know, over in the RLCS, where that's obviously the only game that we're going to be looking at, he has been that guy. He's him. He's him, is he? I'm, su I'm surprised, as you said, he hasn't changed his name to Thor Boy. Because these boys have just been <laughs> together for as long as I can remember. He almost gets a shot there. That's the Strub's killer special, isn't it? Just waiting in there, playing that passive goalkeeper role. And Well, he cleans it up here for the Hogan mode, but, uh, well, it needs to get down the other end a bit, Stumpy. It's still 2-0 here for Saar, and they've, well, they've come out of the gate swinging. I think a lot of these teams as well, when you see them perform extraordinarily well on the Friday shows, they don't always translate that over to the Saturday. Then suddenly they get in their heads, they'll be thinking, oh, okay, yes. that was that was a very, very big Friday. Can we really repeat that? And, you know, CJ, as a player, I think you get those results sometimes, right? And you think, oh, okay, we need to now not change anything for the Saturday, but you can definitely get in your own head about it. Yeah, you don't want to do the optic gaming, you know what I mean? We're just having mm. fun, let's see what happens, and then you start getting some good results, and you think, hang on a minute, we might be able to win this event, and then you get swept. So mm -hmm. we don't really want to see that from Hogan Mode. Obviously, they had a phenomenal day one, a phenomenal Friday. You were going through the results as well. Not just not just beating, you know, run-of-the-mill teams, but really could be ending some splits for some of these new rosters <laughs> like Oxygen, who have dropped down so early, so... Yeah, it's, um, it's good to see from these boys. And as you said, it's good to see Strub just, just back in form and mm -hmm. just back on the mainstream. It's been so long. And the potential thought as well, CJ, of having him maybe play versus Vitality later. If, yeah, if heard everything you talking goes about well and the Rocket League gods are kind, imagine that world. I imagine if Strub just 1v1 Zen in that series as well and just says, you know what? Yeah, I was here before you, long before. <laughs> I'm the real prodigy of this game, and I'm here to come back and, and show the kids what's up. Exactly. But with two minutes left in this um, Ash and Hogan mode answer, it's still going to be those early two goals um, coming from those runaways that we saw earlier. Hib scoring the both of them. That's a chance for folks to be coming in. Gets one shot towards the net, but just trying to rush that defense. Does a great job of it. Sends it central. Scrub Killer can get his nose to it. Sends it wide. But just poking and prodding at that defense. Ain't hoping to... Throw them off a little bit, seeing as Hogan Mode are still a very brand new team, that there will be these slight moments of miscommunication. Hogan Mode have settled, however. They're looking a little bit more in control and maybe an opportunity. Scrub just not quite reading that touch across. Mike Boy on the backboard trying to deal with this one. Does get bumped off and Scrub just dunks it and gets one back here. Hogan Mode, there's plenty of time in this game, number one. What a return as well for Scrub Killer. I'm going to be getting our lovely statistician to check 
When was the last time Scrub Killer scored a goal on the main RLCS broadcast? I imagine it will be the wildcard at Worlds back in August 2022. Things is now May 23. That has been a very long time between. Welcome back, big man. Yeah, he was still drinking milk daily back then. That's how long ago <laughs> it was. But now he's a 20-year-old absolute lad and he's here and he's matured and perhaps learnt a little bit from his previous, I guess, you know, the past couple of years where it hasn't been as crash hot for him as a, in a professional career, you could say. But well, he's back now. And as we said, it was a slow start, but they're starting to pick up here. And maybe Sarge just, just, just pumping the brakes a little bit, but it might be a bit early. The demo's coming out. This could be a goal. It should be. Oh, oh. dunked out, scrub. No, follow up. Rezzy, not ready. That could have been the opportunity for Hogan mode. It was a very, very safe shot as well on that one from Scrub. He had the chance to go something a little bit more special, but instead wanted to try and bully the ball through and getting bullied in the midfield. Leads that goal completely open. Groundy has to work his way back after Scrub was bumped in the midfield. Groundy to the ceiling, but the pass coming down towards Tho. Scrub then called in again to block it. Mike Boy faster on that challenge. Now Tho waits off as Mike Boy with zero boost. Come gets that ceiling reset, pulls the ball back down towards Rezzy, and the final 20 seconds sees yet another interception from the man, the guy, the him, the hips. He's been sensational. Hogan mode, though, they've been better these last two minutes. Ten seconds left. What can they do? Flick across. Scrub has to beat out Hibbs, but there he is again, flicking it across. Growley has to touch it down. Three seconds on the clock. Those trying to add insult to injury, and Hibbs should get the 50-50. Ball still alive, though. Over to Rezzy. Maybe a little bit of magic. Scrub killer does get blocked out by Tho. Ball is now got to get 50-50. That has to hit the ground, mm -hmm. and it's going to be Saar taking game number one. But it was a close one. Very close game um, in the end. I think you can look at the two goals that were scored by Sir and see that they are avoidable. You can see that, okay, you know what? They were just taking those long shots on the net. Hogan mode were, I think, going about as ball chasey as you would kind of expect from a lot of the players too, where they were just wanting to send themselves at the ball as much as possible. And they were avoidable. Yes, Hogan mode got that lovely goal um, with the hips flick over the top of Rezzi, as we're seeing right now in the replay. But... It comes down to just those slight mistakes. They can keep it a lot closer as they move through this series. And CJ, CJ, hello, mate. When are you getting rid of that mustache? Okay, I've, I'm getting a lot of comments as well. I was on the OCE mm -hmm. broadcast last mm -hmm. week, and there's just so many people that absolutely love the Tash. Really? So I think I want to keep it. I think I want to keep the Tash. Give it one in chat, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you are absolutely loving the flavor saver that I've got uh, going on up there. Okay, off. and then just, a two if just, you don't like the flavor saver, as you've called it, which made my skin crawl. <laughs> I just don't see how you couldn't like it, ladies and gentlemen. In game number two, I don't know how you couldn't like how Hogan mode finished up that game. I know it was SARS to win, but well, the bumps, the aggression coming out from, from these boys, they, they really mixed it up on the fly, which is often not what you see from, I don't want to say a pickup team, but, you know, a team in the bubble that are sort of, you know, mm -hmm. just, just sort of flicking around trying to find a roster that works. My boy sends it high to Hibbs immediately, nearly gets that double tap down. That was a wonderful angle. That attempt would have been phenomenal. Definitely would have seen that in top place. That nice to squeak its way in. I like seeing that Sir are going for those cheeky little plays. Hibbs to intercept on Scrub Killer's clear. Growling out up four, oh, no. but with nobody there. And the oh, bump trouble. in the middle, it falls back down to Scrub Killer to get a clear away. Both sides getting physical now. And it's obviously this Sir just took, took a leaf out of what Hogan mode has been doing here with the physicality, the bump plays, just the knock this Hogan Mo team off their game right now. And maybe Tho can go to work. Andrew will go to the top corner. Growley's there, just didn't quite have the pace. Mike Boy back, leaves just an open net. Both, both players here on Saar caught in the front corner. And that's what can happen. It was all three. It wasn't just both either. Look, all three oh. in frame at that moment when Growley goes for the shot and gives that dagger of a goal back towards the team that was scoring a long shot against them in the first. So, a good adaptation, and that just seemed to me like Sir were chasing the, the, the dream of, okay, we can get a goal here. We don't need to worry mm. too much about them coming back, but Hibbs up for that Ooh. double touch. The post makes it awkward. The save coming in from Crowley, and a lovely 50 on the air dribble. Oh, geez, a close almost return there, but as you said, it's a costly goal, an open net, all the plays in the corner, like you said, and it doesn't take a genius, Stumpy, to figure out that that's not good positioning when you've got all three players. You know, you could have a bronze coach and just, you know, get the aerial view of the team and go, you see that? Not good. <laughs> don't, you know, do it. don't do that. <laughs> that. That is not on.
No, uh, <laughs> not, not the best but positioning at all. I hope that they would be saying that to each other. Like, why were you there? What on <laughs> earth just happened in that moment? But I'm sure they're going to be learning from it. With 90 seconds gone, a long clear from him to pull down towards Brownlee. A man who, as well, has been around the Rocket League scene, I feel, forever. And making the occasional main event. One of those players who I'm sure has been hoping for a team that sticks for a decent while. Maybe this is the opportunity, as we said. I think double elimination opens it up for these kind of teams. If you can get a huge win, it almost flicks the seeding. Now you, you take that top team seed, whoever you've upset in that top bracket, and it can lead to miracles right here. I'm not saying that this is a miracle. I'm not trying to say they haven't earned it, but they can make the most of this opportunity now. This is a fantastic matchup for Hogan mode. Same with Saar, a team that, as we said, could be potentially facing a Vitality or a K-Corp down in this lower bracket. But, well, if it was Vitality, it would be pretty special series against Mr. Scrub Killer. And to continue that point about double elimination, it's a lot more mm. volatile, I feel. Oh, like yeah. You're saying that it's not that they've like, locked their way here. It's that it's a volatile Ooh, Hang on, Brown hang on, hang on. on. Net, up for the double. Didn't want to go for I the easy that. goal as the defender's back. CJ, you love it. I think Crowley loves it even more. I absolutely love it because he had to go for the shot. He had to pre-jump top corner, so that he was out of position, slow back. Go for the double. It's open every day of the week. Foe can't read that. He has to, has to commit to the initial shot. And that means that's a free play double there from Growly. Fantastic play. And well, Hogan mode, we said Stumpy, they sort of turned the corner that last couple of minutes. Great save from Scrub. And they've carried it here into this game number two. Absolutely. And they're getting a good amount of pressure too. But with a decent amount of patience and they're waiting for their chances to strike as well. Like Growly for that first goal, managing to just go for a little bit of um, uh, the, the, the long shot to make sure that then you're seeing on that back line that they need to stay back a little bit more and they can't be committing as many players to the attack as they would like to. When the two minutes remaining, that's as you see Scrub can get bumped right back into his own orange half. And so, in the sky, once ground pins it towards the net, does manage to just about skim the face of it, but no goal just yet for Sir. Crowley playing with fire there in defense, but this is this is foreign territory here for Sar. They're down two goals now. We saw them hold on to the lead game number one. Now they've got to try and mix it up here because we're seeing Crowley come off the near post, cherry picking downfield and Maybe this is Scrub's opportunity off the corner. Can he get it past midfield? Touched away by Tho. Still a two-goal lead here, but this is big trouble. It's a two-on-one, three-on-one. Hibbs cuts the corner. Scrub's getting back, finding a way in. The 50-50. Oh. Growly's there. Follow-up oh. shot. Scrub just plants himself in net and says, not today, Tho. Not today. In the final 70 seconds, he's going to go for that double. Gets it central. The angle not quite there for him, as he was placed a little bit awkwardly. We tick into the final minute with seven boots. Razor just aims for this. 50 does get it. And my boy is going to be the benefactor of that ball until Growly punched his face and sends him back into his own corner. Scrub killer finding himself relatively low on boost. He then goes to that challenge in the sky with Mike Boy and Rezzy challenging onto that right-hand side. Ooh. Hibbs with a very rare miss. Considering the run of form that he is on, you don't want to be seeing him go for a couple of flybys. Yeah, just didn't quite get a piece of the fake there by Growly, whoever. And it just feels like Saar at the moment. They're a little bit flat-footed. They're not quite following each other up, not quite committing in that midfield. And it just means they're getting less and less opportunities here. 30 seconds left. Pogum might have done a fantastic job of locking it down. Throw opportunity. Air dribble. The bumps Look, are coming bomb. on the back board. He's in big trouble. Someone get up oh. for the save. It's Growly. He just finds a way. Growl in the top corner. Demon and finds it back round towards Rezzy with 150. He doesn't, know, he doesn't need to get a goal there. Just Smart. get the block and waste some time. Brilliant continuation from Growling, nearly the double in. Scrub could have just to send it high, burning that boost. Brilliant game management from Hogan Mode at the end of game number two. We are now drawn in this series, one apiece. It becomes more and more competitive to be moving on in this lower bracket. Yeah, as we said, game number one, it felt like the tides were shifting towards the latter half of the game. and. It just was the same old story, the same story there in game number two. Hogan mode, they just took a couple of minutes to warm up, it feels like, in this series. But now they have Growly 692 points, if you don't mind, as well, with a couple of sausage rolls. Two goals on the board as well there. And great defense, great way to lock it down mm -hmm. in the end. Loving what I'm seeing here from Hogan mode. Uh, the ball's in Sars court now, Stumpy. They've got to find yeah. a way to get back into this series. When the ball is in Sars court, it's also in their half of the pitch for a majority of that game. And Crowley mm. was the one putting it there almost all of the time. Outstanding play from him. MVP of that match, certainly. 
Um, and for anybody who is thinking that, okay, why is Sir suddenly a team that people are really paying attention to? Over in the Games Without Borders tournament, they beat BDS in all three of their of their 3v3 matches. And then they also beat G1 in two of their 3v3 matches that they had on their course to 3 0 them with a 2v2 in the middle. They are absolutely legit. They are, yes, an unsigned team. Yes, they are a team that has only really formed recently. I think it's just at the start of the month um, or on the 28th mm -hmm. that uh, they formed along with Hibs. But they are one that is going to be a real nightmare in the, and, and a thorn in the side of a lot of big signed Orcs teams' uh, sides. I think this sums up the European region, Stumpy. We obviously saw what Hoga Mode as well did yesterday. There's just no easy wins here in EU. And when you think you might just have a cruisy series, you know, let's tick this one off. If you're not ready, these teams can come out swinging with I guess no pressure on their backs as the underdogs and well that is the story as I said a lot of these EU teams particularly these unsigned teams they're with nothing to lose oh, the bumps great. from Rezzy and the aggression from Hogan mode opens it up again I love just seeing Growly go for that shot on net whatever it is because he knows Rezzy is there to get the bump away yes the touch is made and um, with that save but it is not enough. Sent away from the goal. Momentum moving fully against the defender. Hogan mode gaining that lead in just 30 seconds in the third game. I love how this team's playing, but I don't love this kickoff. Scrub has to make a huge touch. Follow up Mike by shot. He's just not anywhere in a direction or vicinity that could have been dangerous. And they don't make the most of that open opportunity. Now it's though to continue this push down the pitch. Scrub get it in there. He can clear it long. Growly needs to pick up some pennies to make sure that his two teammates up ahead of him can get anywhere with this ball. Rezzy with a 50 low, but Mike Boy pinching over towards him. Growly, brilliant initiative, immediately challenges that ball. He does not want to let this get too much past that halfway line and into the orange side. Mike Boy, double commit here from Hogan Mo. This is dangerous right now. Throws backing up, can't get the corner boost. Rezzy's very awkward, but they're just setting up three-man defense right now, and they can't break it here, so they can't find a way out. Growly, Rezzy's downfield, pre jumping. Hello. There's a read the ring. Kids can't get it. Growly follow up off the ceiling. Hogan mode felt like they were in defense and they said, nah, -uh, we got a counter attack coming. Great movement too, around the pitch entirely from Hogan mode. That ball being sent on by Hibbs. You know, remember that first goal in game number one, those early shots and those long shots, they can't be coming in too handy. And Scrub Killer with one demo. demo, he's not gonna go up for that second save and the shot was a bit too far away for it to be really threatening. But now another demo on the back, those challenge versus Growly in his own half. And with my boy up to beat Scrub, the second man does manage to clear that ball away. Ground with another long shot, this time saved away by the much more intelligently positioned Hibs. Yeah, smart positioning there. He just backed off. It could have been dangerous. Like right here, right now, mm -hmm. though. Just getting caught out backwards. Scrub is out. We're going to get the bead out. Mike Boy's there. Shot on net. Rezzy doesn't quite get the touch, but the follow up dunk would lead to another attack here from Hogan mode. Hibs up very fast for this one, though. And he's going to go for the maybe the double touch central. Oh. Scrub, I mean, he's, he's seen that play a million times by now. He's he's 43 years old, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he's been around the block. It's crazy. It felt, it felt like the only uh, only on the pre-show he was 20, and he's already 43. It's, it's an amazing world. That's an amazing demo. Scrub Killer moves down the pitch on his mobility scooter and taps in the second for Hogan mode. Huge goal from the 61-year-old there. The demo came out, and he can just follow it up. It doesn't matter how old, how slow, how fast you might be. He's going to be able to get that one. And Scrub Killer, along with Hogan mode, it is game number two, rinse and repeat, 2-0 lead. And Scrub Killer may be coffin dodging, but he is coffin dodging into that ball as well. Gets a tap over the line. And those demos, they're becoming so much more beneficial for Hogan mode too. It's opening up that back line over and over again. And Rezzy just being there to threaten these bumps as well. They're absolutely all over them here. The shot on net, beautiful. It goes off the crossbar, follow up hips. This has to be a goal, but Rezzy does get the save. The pre-jump finding his way behind him there near post. Crowley just dribbles it out. Hogan mode, they don't like defending Stumpy. They are just getting it straight out of there and mm -hmm. on the attack. And this at the moment is just the sheer style I think that Europe are really taking on. Just the aggression. Keep pushing your, your, your opponent. Make sure that they aren't comfortable at any moment. Scrub killer on the ceiling. Doesn't get the reset. Instead, it falls back down to Crowley. Rezzy with a relatively open net. Goes for a short top corner, but sends it wide by about an entire ball's width, and so he isn't able to get in that second one, but instead he is gifted a second chance. Crowley to go for it low, fakes out one, but Mike Boy is there to save, and the final 90 seconds ticks down for Hogan mode are gonna be on that series point. They're all over them here. They are absolutely all over them. The demos, the midfield game, they're just chasing. They're making them so awkward. Hibbs has to get the touch. Scrub gets the boost. Doesn't get the touch well, he sure. wants, however, but... 
Oh, there's numbers back. Hogan Mode have just found a way to set up, and it's just, it, it is absolutely rattled this, te this team here of Saar. They mm -hmm. can't find a way to get through that midfield. Great shot. Long again. Growly above the crossbar, and Mike Boy is back to pass it towards the recently spawned back in Hibs. We're under a minute left. Two goals that Sir need to be chasing, but Scrub Killer from that bat ball clears it round the side of Mike Boy. And remember, at the end of that second game, their fantastic game management. Hogan mode made it near impossible to get any real pressure. And again, they continue to challenge. A flip central, growly to Scrub Killer. It goes high. Go if the goal comes in here, it's fantastic. If not, it's seconds burned off that clock. It's just killing time everywhere right now. There has to be a goal. Hibbs needs to find it. But again, challenged out by Rezzy. Bo tries to get a midfield. Mike Boy has to make something happen. The touch, the follow-up. It's not coming through right now for Saar. They can't find a way through. Hogan mode. They're on the brink of series point here to knock out Saar from the tournament. Unless Mike Boy can just wedge it in, but he can't. The follow-up. Scrub parries it to the side. They're killing time. Hogan mode. It's all wraps, ladies and gents. 2-1 lead. And they are just cruising their way to this series victory. It's devastatingly close on that final attempt. They had about 12 seconds if that goes in to get a goal, but that's at least something. Hogan mode. My word, that sheer aggression, the push, the drive, and the ability for them to maintain control of that ball, much more evenly matched in this game mode too as well, right? They're all within about 50 points of each other. Hogan mode. They were all over the pitch. They were a conveyor belt and they were devastating to whatever Sir tried to put on net, where they only managed to get seven shots. Brilliant, brilliant rotations from Hogan. It has just been, and it has been one way traffic. So even since, as I said, halfway through game one, when it started to turn, they did lose that game, but they looked the better side towards the end. Since then, I mean, Sar haven't responded. The bumps have come through and just the, the confidence they've got in midfield and offensively, they're going for this almost cherry picker role, but they're sending the bumps instead, not always the pass downfield. And I tell you what, Sar's getting caught out third, man. They're not finding mm -hmm. a way through. Hogan mode look like a serious team in this regional. Wow, if they can continue this here, this is series point potentially. It's only a best of five so far. Stay tuned for the best of sevens later. And I'll tell you what, Hogan mode might be in one of them. Game four and Hogan mode on that fantastically found position. Oh, this has to With be a goal, couple bang. of bums immediately off the kickoff though, Sir are gonna be fighting back with a vengeance. This is not what you want. Scrub just bumping Growly off it. Mike Boy going for the bump. Rezzy is just, at, he's done. You may as well put the controller mm -hmm. down in that two on one. Start capitalizing. That's their first goal stumpy since game one. And the earliest goal so far that we've seen in this series. Scrub Killer pushing up on that with a very close cheat, but gets demoed away from it. Hibbs removes him from the pitch, then leaves the ball towards the boat to be getting a shot towards that target. Oh, Rezzy! Don't do it. Sniping from the side wall. And look at Scrub Killer's player cam screaming, let's go, bro! Oh, bro, talk to me, bro. Put it off the near post. That is sensational. The pause is called. Rally is adding insult to injury as well. And so, you know point, what? You that goal was so there. good. <laughs> Let, that goal was so good. Let's have another look at it. Let's pause it for a couple of minutes. I don't mind that. From, that is good from Gra I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. I also, by the way, love that it came back to us and we were so animated because of how much we're so we bought into this series so far. <laughs> that was that was that was, uh, no, guys uh, for these the people in chat that might be saying a player's name that might be known for pausing it in uh, you know ridiculous times. I can't. Think who that would be. I can't that, well, we're not going to name names, but this was um, this was from Growly. This was from from Hogan Mode, yeah. who you know just equalised. So this isn't yeah. guys. Don't get all hysterical in chat. And is, it, it, I don't know what he, it's, I think it's mind games. I'm going to call it. Yeah. I think it's mind games. And you know what? It's absolutely typical, sorry, absolutely typical for um, a player um, on the scoring team to have it pause at this moment as well. Um, but Growly, yeah, we're going to uh, make sure that he's all good. We're going to get him back into the lobby. CJ, it is yeah, such what do you absolute want? <laughs> Bro, I'll just say yes, Stumpy, in the future. Sorry, yes, Stumpy. Right, yes, okay, yes, that's much nicer. Um, <laughs> how much, how nice is it to be able to just say Scrub Killer when we're casting? I'm absolutely giddy with excitement. Yeah, well, I've said Scrub a lot in OCE, but he's, he's, he's a bit younger and he's not the same person. So it's a little bit different, but having Scrub <laughs> Killer back, it's great. I mean, he is just aging superbly here. Look at him, he's having to wipe his nose, but that's what you get when you're 92, you know? <laughs> he doesn't have true. long left, but he's still trying to pursue this Rocket League dream to get another world championship. Mm. And I tell you what, and this it's good team, that he can wipe his nose and not get somebody to do it for him as well. That's nice. That's good. Yeah, it, it shows it shows his age, but it shows that he's still determined. 
he realised he's also playing professional Rocket League. I mean, it'd be hard for him not to be able to wipe his nose while still sure. being able to play. But um, I think, <laughs> I think sure. we're just... Well, I think Let's we're not try just and it too many back into it. Including <laughs> wiping his own nose. But Growly is now back in. Uh, they're going to make sure that um, uh, they're all happy with that. And Growly is actually receiving this ball straight oh, away I don't from mind this. Scrub. If that would have been a goal immediately, that is a bit of a flex on the side of Growly. But 30 seconds on reviews for joining us. Hogan Mode and Sir are drawn level. And the demo on the keeper isn't going to find a goal for Hogan Mode. Yeah, but it's the, it's the mind game, Stumpy. It's just knowing that this isn't a goal, but just just this is what we can do to you. You know what I mean? It's putting in the back of their mind that at any point, this Hogan Mode team can just sweep through for a demo on that third man. And it's working out well here. They, they can see to that first goal, Stumpy, but what a way to capitalize. They didn't, you know, sit back and panic. Now they're on mm -hmm. Siri's point. It was Growly pushing forward and getting that redirect goal. Yeah, it's fantastic movement um, as well. Of the pitch, with Scrub Killer onto the back ball. Goes for that double, oh. goes for the dump. <laughs> Scrub Killer is back. He's not just dunking his bickies in the cup of tea. He's dunking his opponents here on Utopia. He doesn't get a touch on it at all. The double touch off the backboard. How good, bro. That, that was, was beautiful. beautiful. I thought it was a dunk, bro. But in the end, it just managed just to be a double tap. Amazing from him. He's just Scrub locked it. He, what? <laughs> he had an absolute joy of a time. <laughs> Getting the second goal for Hogan Mo. A minute 15, and Sir find themselves with those two goals against them. They've not been able to come back from these deficits so far, but they need to hear on Utopia. These, these teams, the story of the first regional here in Europe. It's sensational to see. They picked it up ever since game number two, the end Wait. of game number one, and it's just top edge. Right, this is it. the lobby. You're done. Go home. What do you think you're doing? Growly, you had a disconnect and yet you still fake away from that ball as if you've unplugged your controller. Rezzy comes in, manages <laughs> to slot it top bins and this is Hogan mode, clear by two again. Neither team so far has been able to come back from this deficit in this series. Could this there be is again. a Hogan mode masterclass? It's a Rezzy fake! It's a Growly goal! They've returned the favour and it's four for Hogan mode. Oh, you have one, then I'll have the next one. Rezzy fakes it out. The bounce wasn't favourable, but Crowley's right there. My boy can't get the save. You see it in the face cams. Hogan mode are having the time of their lives. I'm having the time of my life. I'm smiling from <laughs> ear to ear with just seeing new teams thrive in these kind of high pressure, pressure cooker double elimination format. It is outstanding to see what these teams are capable of but sir has still got three minutes to bring back three goals foe to send that central resi up so early with growly going for bombs the, on the keeper he's able to the second one able to come in and though is that second man to clear the ball away yeah resi couldn't quite get the ground pinch there but it could have been another goal the bumps coming through they're just demoing the third man with absolute ease here sir not being able to respond. Maybe the pass infield. That was, I'll tell you what, that was weaker than the Cubs to see that Scrubs having. Rezzy, <laughs> solo play. Flip reset. Doesn't quite get it. Pop over the top. Hibbs is there. Hogan mode. They want more. They want five, Stumpy. I mean, it's amazing. You said about the cup of tea that Scrubs having. It's amazing that they let him have Cappy at his age. 99 and still going strong. And with that double commit in that back corner, maybe he is not too long for this world. Gets bumped away from that by Growly. Rezzy now into the sky. Still three goals that Stern need to bring back, but though on a great opportunity to clear it as Rezzy and Growly both commit to that one. Oh, I don't think Hogan mode are done yet. I'm seeing blood in the water right now. And as I said, they want more. The infield pass, Rezzy's back. Pops it across, Growly's there, gets the 100 boost. Does leave it though, backs off for the first time. We don't usually see that from Hogan mode, but he does well here and gets the follow-up dunk. Who's on the side? Well, you betcha. It's Scrub Killer, 100 years old. He's hit the triple figures. Unbelievable. But it's great to see him still play competitive Rocket League. Happy birthday, Scrub Killer. He's had about 80 today. Make sure you're saying that in chat, ladies and gentlemen, because he deserves it. A staple of this scene and a staple of this series so far. Growly sends that ball down. The final 90 seconds ticks down with Rezzy receiving the pass. It's the Growly and Rezzy show. Oh, the boys have popped off the fake, fake, fake. And this time it's going to be the outpace. Rezzy does get the fight. What a shot underneath as well. The pre-jump from Hibbs. He read it all day there. And three snags from Rezzy. Three sausages, couple there on Growly and Scrub. The staple of the scene, as you said, Scrub Killer. Well, he can't use a stapler, but he's an absolute pioneer, a staple of this community. And it's got to be Hogan mode. I said they've got five goals in them and they've got it right here. This is just an absolute avalanche of goals.
And as much as we're joking, they have been a brilliant team so far. They have yep. worked through well, that's anything nice. that they've been seeing. Of course, they're now going to be conceded. But they've worked through all these teams so far that they have been coming up against. But Sir want to do something that has not happened in this series. And that very rarely happens at all in Rocket League, let alone the RLCS. It is coming back from four gold down with one minute 12 to do it. It is a near impossible task, but it has been done historically. Mm, that's a great touch as well from Tho to get that redirect, but oh my boy, he's not getting the touch he wants. The pass down field, no, they're back off now. And maybe it's time for Hogan Mode to kill the clock. We saw what they did in game two and three, the way that they could just kill 20, 30 seconds, just like that. Can they do it when the pressure's on though, when they're on series point? Sent towards that right hand wing. Scrub killer is going to be intercepting the ball, knocked away from Hibbs, and then he is knocked off that bad ball. The double oh, no! the Rowley charge for Hibbs. The man that I identified at the start of the series comes back down, nearly gets removed for his troubles. The 100 boost stolen away as Scrub killer in his own half takes it as the final 30 seconds takes down, and Hogan mode are now going to be on their I'll victory do it. lap. Oh, Growly just didn't want to commit there. I know you're up three goals. You want to hold the lead, but let's get a six scrub over to Growly. Fakes it. Killing time again. This is all over Red Rover. The bump might just be it as well, Rizzy. Solo play. Is anyone there in net from Star? My boy gets the clearance. Eight seconds left, Star oh. Well, scrub killer. We saw him oh. on the mainstream today. We're going to see him again oh. later on. Bro, oh, we've done it. We've won. We made it through Hogan mode. <laughs> Amazing work and a fantastic showing from Hogan Mode. What a team, what an exciting trio that we are seeing rise up through the RLCS. You see on the cameras how much this means. You see just how much that these moments mean to these teams. And in these formats where it's much more hard, where it's much harder for them to work through against bigger ones, they're swimming at the camera, they're excited, they're saying let's go.